Plans to breathe new life into the defunct Chesterfield Mall are getting the green light. The city council just approved a zoning change, which will make room for demolition and a major revamp. New tonight, Brent Solomon caught up with the mayor about what's next. If you've been to the Chesterfield Mall lately, you know it's only a shell of its former glory. No more Macy's or JCPenney. No more date night at the movies. For years, you know, our residents, the number one question, what, what are you going to do with Chesterfield Mall? Since the mall is private property, Mayor Bob Nation tells me there was little the city could do except for change how the property is zoned, moving it from commercial to a mixed use space, allowing for retail, offices, and more than 2,000 apartment units. Tuesday, city council did just that. Getting to this point wasn't a slam dunk. There were some concerns and challenges along the way. Dillard's filed suit against the city, concerned about tax incentives for developers. The company asked the courts to make sure the store is not impacted by eminent domain. And then there were neighbors. Well, our two big concerns were density and mix of uses. We're also, of course, concerned about the traffic impact. So citizens for developing downtown, also known as Preserve Chesterfield, worked with the developer and city leaders. They limited the number of housing. They uh, limited the height of the buildings, reduced that from what would have been 300 feet down to 200 feet. Residential properties developed around a three and a half acre park, and it's stipulated on the, on the ground floor of those residents will be retail. We came to a resolution and we're thrilled to have reached a conclusion that we felt like we could support. Demolition of the mall site, except for Dillard's, is expected to begin late next year. Brent Solomon, five on your side. The next step for the developer is to submit site plans for each side of the property for the city council to approve.